maybe that's just a difference. Maybe they're just slightly ahead in, in that area. These can actually give us a second one. So the second characteristic of truth in logic and mathematics is that they are true. They are necessary truths. It's impossible for them to be false. Wow, okay, that, that that's pretty impressive. But by contrast, scientific truths are contingent. Even if a scientific principle is true, it could have been false. And again, our, my, my shelves over my shoulder are strewn with a litany of sci-fi books that postulate, what if this was the case? And you know, what, what if science doesn't quite work like that when we're exposed to really fast speeds or really high gravity or what, we go back in time and it quite wasn't like that. So it could have been something that it isn't, but something like two plus two is always going to be four. It always has to be four. It's always impossible for it to be anything other than four. So if it's possible, for example, to imagine a world with different laws of nature, then we're unable to get there. And again, with even in the comic book world, there still has to be, you as the reader have to draw some inference to it. There has to be a way for you to relate to it. And you might be able to believe that Superman can fly, but if he's doing math that doesn't comport with what your understanding of as something as simple as two plus two equals four, then you don't, you have no frame of reference at any point in time there. And you know that world doesn't operate well. So flying Superman, good. Clark Kent making a mistake on the blackboard for a math test, entirely possible. Right. Yeah. All right. So that's the second one. So first, this distinction between a priori and a posteriori gaining some knowledge. And then secondly, the distinction between necessary truths and truths that are contingent. And logic and math give us necessary truths. It's impossible for them to be false. Whereas scientific truths, since they're based on nature and our observations, which can change, are contingent. And that means that they didn't have to be the way that they are. So there, that's one non-scientific source of knowledge, actually two, right? <laughs> Mathematics and logic that, that are not scientific.